It's a day-to-day -day struggle. So it changed my life forever. Well, it is time for a new camera. Almost time for a new camera. I'm, I'm going to pick up a new camera later on this evening. And I'll talk about that. But the G7S, the, the lens cover, it's not closing. Not closing. I don't understand why. It's stuck. You know, I had to put like a little pin up there just to pull the, the shield down. But I, I don't know. Uh, first thing first, I want to talk about this uh, article that I saw on Facebook. It was a Facebook post and it's about it's about how important uh, truck driver safety out here. Now you know you guys, I always talk about truck driver safety whenever I get a chance because the only asset that's out here is you. You know what I'm saying? And if you're coming into this industry, you it's, it's more than just driving the truck as you guys seen in my previous videos you know what i'm saying anything liable to happen but let me just run this through and then we'll get on to some uh some of the other conversations so this is from a facebook post it reads and i probably put it up on the screen but it reads it says my husband just witnessed a truck pulled off the road Got out mostly like to fit something. Loose. Okay, let's start that over again. My husband just witnessed a truck pulled off the road. Got out most likely to fit something loose as to not endanger the public and the young lady. Let's start over. Damn it, man. My husband just witnessed a truck pulled off the road got out most likely to fist something loose as to not to endanger the public and a young lady would not move over just hit him and smashed him into the back of his truck so many lives are going to be turned upside down this morning all because people will not move over when somebody is on the side of the road my husband is a truck driver, as am I, and hauls steel, and sometimes his straps come loose, he has to pull over and tighten them up so that something doesn't come loose and hurt someone. Instead, instead, this morning, the truck driver got killed trying to prevent someone else from being hurt because someone would not move over on the side of the road. Tragic. This just happened southbound on 75 in the Georgia line. That is sad. Now, I understand that it's like, it's, 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 it's heavy traffic. And when you see emergency vehicles or a truck or a car on the side of the road for whatever purpose, uh, on the shoulder it is courtesy and in some states it is law to move over from the right lane into the left lane just to give uh, just to give that space you know so that they can feel safe unfortunately with people not paying attention you know they veer off to the left I mean veer off to the right and then just hit that truck driver car or emergency personnel that is not cool uh, unfortunately like when you try to get over in the left lane you got other cars that's doing bs that's not letting you get over in the in the left lane so that you can give that space that courtesy space to the person that's over in the shoulder people we need to be a little bit smarter than that when we out here on the roads man we need to watch what we're doing you know what i'm saying so unfortunately that's a tragic incident you know i pray for that family even though i don't know them i'll pray for that family and this is just something that you guys 
that's coming into the business or that's already in the business should know all right all right so let me go in here let me wash up take a shower i'll come back and let you guys know what happened to me at the tables let's go Investigators uncover a law many drivers are totally ignoring. Dashcam video shows what can happen when drivers fail to move over for police cars. Crash after crash. Drivers smashing into officers on the side of the road. No one was killed in these crashes, but many people don't realize the state's move over law also applies to tow truck drivers. Oh Call 6 investigator Kara Kinney has been digging into this and joins us with the story. Kara. The last time you saw a tow truck on the side of the road, did you move over? or at least slow down? Well, if you didn't, you may have broken the law, but we found there's a great chance you got away with it. It happens time and time again. Emergency workers hit by drivers who fail to move over. It's not just police and paramedics, it's tow trucks too. Operator Richard McCarty's office is just inches away from traffic that could kill him. Same thing was true for Wayne Augenbaugh. I knew I was in trouble. He was loading up a box van on I-69 in Noblesville when his semi-driver drifted onto the shoulder, smashing into the van and Wayne's wrecker. I didn't have a whole lot of time to react, and, and I mean, it just happened in the snap of a finger. The crash cost Wayne even more than his career. <laughs> It's a day-to-day -day struggle. So it changed my life forever. There's a lot of days when it's a nice day and I won't get out and do something. I don't feel like putting my leg on. I give everything I got back for that morning to have never happened, but that's impossible. J.R. Cook with Cook's Towing says crashes with tow trucks happen dozens of times a year across the country. We've had two or three wreckers get totaled in uh, um, you know, I've had to climb up on the trucks or run around them. The move over law says if their lights are flashing, you have to change lanes away from stopped emergency vehicles, police cars, ambulances, fire trucks. Many drivers don't realize highway, utility, and tow trucks are also on that list. It's very scary on the side of the road because cars don't slow down. You know, you figure they're running 65, 70 mile an hour. We saw the danger firsthand with Master Trooper Shanna Kennedy. I've had him so close and go by me so fast that literally this car will rock. Go against the wall for me. Traffic's getting awfully close to us. While police were making an arrest on I-65, put your hands behind your back. For an outstanding warrant, cars continued to fly by us. Really, get over. Major moving violation. Unbelievable. We also saw drivers trying to come to a complete stop on the interstate. See, look, they're stopping. Look at that. People will literally stop in the lane of travel, which is just going to cause a crash behind them. While police want you to obey the move over law, it's almost impossible to enforce. Look at the numbers. Over a year and a half, Indiana State Police issued nearly 200,000 citations statewide for speeding. In that same time frame, they wrote just 1,800 citations for the move over law. One of the lowest ones that's probably written. Why do you think that Because is? if we're by ourselves and we're dealing with a situation, we can't chase after that person. So unless I'm finishing up the crash or finishing up the traffic stop, um, they're going to get away with it. Tow truck drivers we spoke with say cracking down on violators might help. They just want drivers to know the move over law does apply to wreckers. So give them a little more room to do their job safely. If you can't get over, at least slow down. Now, you can get your driver's license suspended for up to two years for not moving over, but we found that rarely happens. Only seven times last year. That's less than 1% of all license suspensions in 2013. I'm Call 6 investigator Kara Kenny. Say up, jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie to beat.